Now, online adverts for the retailer Boots promoting four brands of infant formula broke advertising rules, the watchdog has said. In the UK, you may not even know this, it's against the law to advertise infant formula for babies up to six months because the thinking was or is that it might discourage mums from breastfeeding. Which, to a lot of you, I have to be honest to me, sounds like social engineering. Um, surely we should be allowing mothers to make their own decisions about whether they can or want to breastfeed. And anyway, lots of breastfeeding mothers get formula milkers at the same time, and, and they mix the two. And now the boss of the supermarket chain Iceland is joining in this fray. He's risking an unlimited fine for effectively doing the same as Boots. And he's advertising a discount to try and help families who are struggling, obviously, with the massive cost of living crisis. But since last year, the average cost of the cheapest baby formula rose from £8.40 to £9.39. That's a 10.6% increase. And the most expensive formula increased from £12.14 to £14.59. That's a 16.8% increase. So it's, it's up, up, up. And this guy wants to bring it down, 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 Richard Walker. Um, the doctor agreed with, with, with my summary of it and the way that it's turned out earlier that it is social engineering here, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and it, it's bonkers, because I can um, price promote and advertise on uh, vape products, on chocolate, on crisps, and yet I can't on infant formula. It doesn't make any sense. What do you think is the logic behind it? Well, um, you know, we've got to say that breastfeeding is obviously preferable, and, you know, that's scientifically hmm. uh, the fact. And, and obviously, you know, any, any, uh, any mum that, that um, wants to um, should, should be able to, but, as you said, a lot, a lot can't. You know, there's uh, gay couples or... Um, Mum's undergoing treatment for well, they just cancer, can't, can't express or milk. adopting, or just can't. Or do you know what? They choose not to. And it's all about um, women just being in control of their own bodies, their own choices. Okay. Well, look, Dr. Amir Khan, who uh, Richard was referring to earlier, uh, is here with us as well. Uh, we'll come back to you. Don't worry, mm. me. <laughs> Richard. Um, Dr. Amir, we chatted to you about the principle of this, didn't we, earlier on in the program? Um, just tell us where you think, from a sort of um, a careful, caring health perspective, yeah. this seemingly strange rule uh, on the face of it now came from? Morning, yes. So, strictly medically speaking, there are advantages to yes. breast milk over mm -hmm. formula yeah. milk. Things like it can reduce infections like diarrhoea and vomiting in babies, it can reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, but it also offers some protection to mums. It can reduce the risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer in mums as well. Uh, and I think, you know, in terms of what the NHS recommends, ideally, if the women choose to breastfeed, uh, uh, then they should be breastfeeding exclusively up to six months for for the baby but that isn't suitable for everyone and choice is really important if women do choose to breast breastfeed they will have a lactation consultant initially who will help them do that but if they can't for example if they're on certain medication that's passed on through breast milk or if they've had breast surgery perhaps for cancer reasons uh, or they may have twins or triplets which make it very difficult to breast uh, feed mm. uh, they need to be supported through getting infant formula as well. Uh, and infant formula has to be affordable. Right now, we're in a cost of living crisis. Yeah. And I welcome the idea of discounts on infant formula to improve access to those families who can't afford to buy it currently. The one thing I would say, though, is I hope these are all being done for the right reasons. Yeah. What we don't want are supermarkets discounting infant yeah. formula for a short period of time and <clears> then pricing it up again, up. where these yeah, families and babies point. have become established on the milk, and we don't want them then to not be able to afford it. Uh, uh, Amir, yeah, good point. I just want to say the Department for Health and Social Care says the legislation ensures parents and carers have access to the highest quality and safe infant formula, as well as not discouraging breastfeeding by protecting them from inappropriate marketing of breast milk substitutes. Oh, hang so, on. Well, in a, well, well, hang on. Well, What's hang inappropriate on. about advertising? I don't get it. Sorry, so we're supporting... i just got to get oh, the statement a bit more, out. is that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. don't worry. We are supporting families with the cost of feeding babies mm. and young children through our Healthy Start scheme, which they say helps parents of children under four 
from lower income families buy foods, including baby formula. So Hel the, the broad stop. principle, sorry, mm. Richard, before you come back in with all oh, the throttle, really uh, the broad principle is, look, we have got systems in place, they say, which makes it affordable for those most in need. And what they don't want to do, for instance, if regulation gets stripped away, is have people buy formula from yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Could be any kind yeah. of content. And as Amir said, mm. which we've seen in other products when supermarkets get into wars, sh discounted for a short time through the yeah, roof I agree. on an yeah. essential product. Yeah. We, right, we, the we don't, floor is yours. Yeah, we don't want to price fight. We're not talking multi-buys. We're not talking short-term, you know, bog-offs and sales. All I want to do in a neutral and informative way is communicate a permanent price reduction to our customers. That's what we've done. We slashed the price last week. And what's it's a permanent, permanent reduction. in your world? Well, uh, we forecasted it all the way through to the end of our financial year. So that's as permanent as How much as have you knocked off? Uh, over 20%. 20%? Yeah, so it's by far the cheapest and in the market. And that's not a gimmick, all that's, that's going to yeah. stay for the foreseeable. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's unintended consequences of this law. You know, customers, if they come and shop with us, they, they um, aren't allowed free parking because that's seen as a promotional benefit. Um, it, it's bonkers. Well, you mean, so, they, so they, they're, even if they're going to yeah. buy other products yeah. there, they're, they're not allowed free parking? Um, they're, they're not allowed if they buy uh, formula milk. Um, I don't what? know about other products, but you're not allowed to use loyalty points, gift cards, food bank vouchers. Um, and actually, do you know what? I'm going to announce that we'll accept illegally all of them today. So um, anyone who's got any of those can come into our shops and buy formula with it. The thing and is, I, if, I, if, if, if laws turn into... To, over time, which has clearly happened here, turn into bad laws with unforeseen consequences. People just stop obeying them. You've stopped obeying it, and we know that we, you talk about breaking the law, which is what you're doing. Um, a lot of a lot of women, a lot of parents are breaking the law by stealing this stuff. They yeah. they want it, they need it, they can't afford it, so they're nicking it. Yeah, I mean the the Department of Health have given us a ticking off. You know, they say healthy start vouchers. The values of those is a joke. They haven't gone up for two years. Um, they're £8.50. I mean, that's almost half the price of a week's tub of formula, so it, it doesn't even touch the sites. And, um, you know, uh, we, we're, we're joining the Metro's petition. We'd encourage people to look at Formula for Change on the Metro website. It's already had 40,000 signatures. I think these reg regulations urgently need to be... Um, need to be reviewed. Now, there is going to be a cynic, of course, uh, and, and maybe not a cynic, maybe a wise person, I don't want to prejudge, yeah. who says, you're here doing a fantastic thing to promote your shop, um, and people are going to think, what a good place Iceland mm. is <laughs> because of it. So it's a rather cynical ploy in a very bitter supermarket war to get people to come to you. Well... Well, Iceland is a good place. You know, we, we've got... We're, we're in a cost-of-living crisis. It's not yeah. going anywhere. We surveyed uh, over 500 of our customers with kids under the age of one. 90% of them are worried about how they're going to feed their babies. And 80% of them said supermarkets should do more. So, yeah, call it cynical or whatever. But, you know, we're just trying to step up for our communities. And, by the way, we're not making any money now on this new price. So um, it's, a break it's not about it's a break profiteering. Even price, yeah, it? so we're not profiteering. Well, what um, about the, what about the uh, the fine? If you if you do get fined, I mean, the government has the power to impose an unlimited fine. Would you pay it, or would you not pay that as well? Well, um, you use the word advertising. That's obviously putting paid money behind something. We haven't even been advertising. We've just communicated a was price and now price to our customers, mm. and now we have to unfortunately take that down because you're right. We would we would face an unlimited fine and. Um, you know, I, I think that's wrong. So, do you think, are you expecting a knock on the door from the police? Do you think people will pursue you? <laughs> um, well, we've we've had several local authorities uh, complain to us, um, right. the Department of Health. Um, so, so yeah, they've 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 all flagged that you know we did this illegally. I knew we did. Um, but I think it was the right thing to do. Well, I, I have to say, um, I just feel really strongly that, I mean, irrespective of the, po mm. the, th the points that you've made, I just think mothers have the right to make their own choice. And this is a, a manipulation of women and women's choices. And it, I think it's completely wrong. Mm. Um, but thank you very much for coming in.